My name is Melanie Schaefer. I'm the assistant athletic trainer and I work for Chattanooga FC. Growing up, my mom is a nurse um, and so I did a lot of like after school, my mom would come pick me up and we would go back to work. So I was kind of around like the medical field. And my senior year of high school, um, we had a sports med class. And so I was a student athletic trainer. I personally feel like they were kind of God things that pushed me like to the career path of athletic training. Eventually, my senior year of college, I did an internship with Chattanooga FC. Kind of to go back in history, so like I said in high school when I worked as a student athletic trainer, I think the moment that I felt really like secure in athletic training, we had two guys at the same time go down in like what we now know like almost full body cramps. So both of the guys were like extremely dehydrated. So the head AT was dealing with one guy and you know, I'm just a little 17, I think I was probably 17 at the time, um, having to listen to what he's saying and you know, help this other athlete. And to be able to be that, like, that support system for the guy who clearly was in a lot of pain, um, I think that was a big moment for me that I was like, wow, like the impact that I could have on someone, especially in like a very vulnerable time, like that was really encouraging for me because I feel like I've always been kind of that type of person. Uh, it's just a box drill. Good. Using like backpedaling, so you're using different muscle groups to kind of target that they're gonna be using like while they're playing a game. Most like medical providers, you're gonna be seeing them like when they're sick, when they're at like their lowest point. Whereas it's very rare in the healthcare field to be able to see like an athlete at their worst while they're progressing to get back to their best and then to actually see like the outcome of them, you know, returning to play, um, scoring goals, like saving goals like slide tackling for the first time, just different things to actually be able to see the full storyline of the athlete versus just seeing like little snip, snippets of it. You're doing six, yeah, you know that, right? What, what would you tell like a, mm -hmm. a, young, a young woman who's interested in getting involved? I mean, really, I think it just starts out with just your interest in sports. Um, you're not just sitting at an office all day. Um, you get to travel, like there's there's so many perks behind the job. You know, you come to training and then if you have a home game and then the following day you might fly to New York and you're, you know, on a flight and on a bus and you're staying at a hotel with, you know, 30 other people and you're eating dinners together. And so you learn a lot about connection and we don't follow the typical nine to five schedule. Um, even on our off days, potentially the athletic trainers are working. Um, and if we're not actually at the office working, we're probably still like texting the guys, seeing how they're feeling. It really just depends on what the person's likes and dislikes are and encouraging them however they feel that there are different options for athletic training. All the best, bro. On game day, like you're really trying to motivate the guys to kind of get in that right headspace. So anything that's going on in your life kind of takes a step back and you're just positive, you know, energizing. You know, these guys play like at 200% and so you're always, you're kind of on edge a little bit um, just because you're having to to be ready for potentially anything to happen at that point. But I would say overall, mixture of emotions, but mainly positive energy all around.